NCAA volleyball player Macy Petty gets scolded by AI after she asked ChatGPT to shorten a tweet that champion women in sports. And she got this response from AI, quote, I understand you would like to highlight the importance of girls sports being exclusively for girls. However, it's important to emphasize inclusivity and equity in sports rather than promoting exclusion based on gender. Petty fired back with her own response on Instagram. Are you kidding me? AI is being weaponized into some sort of political tool used to hide the truth. I mean, come on, it is literally advocating for the destruction of all sex-based protections. We need more transparency when it comes to AI because there's a lot of people out there using these tools having no idea the strong biases are even there. Outkick founder Clay Travis is here to react. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. What do you think about this? Who's running AI? Uh, this is just more, I think, symptomatic of the ridiculousness that applies here. I, I think, Ainsley, if you really break down one question that I would tell Republicans to focus on in 2024, because I think it crystallizes so much of this absurdity, it's this. Should women's athletics be made up of women's athletes? Women, biological women. And if they can't answer, think about this, Ainsley. Every Democrat in the House refused to vote to support that statement. Every Democrat in the Senate refused to vote that statement. I believe Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is the only major national Democrat to say women's sports should be made up of women. And I think it's so important because it crystallizes in a way people, you know, are busy. They got kids that they're raising. They're running around. They're not necessarily following the every single day aspect of politics. But this is, I really believe, as the story is told, something that 80 percent, something that 90 percent really of Americans believe. And look, this is just patently absurd. And when you've got the rig game going like that, when you've got AI not allowing you to share information and telling you even beyond that, that your information isn't permissible or excludes, uh, I think that is really scary because this is, again, just symptomatic of what we're going through in this nation. I think this crystallizes for so many people. You know, Clay, it's interesting. It's ironic because it's the anniversary of Title IX, which yeah. was supposed to protect women in sports and make it fair and make it equal. Uh, but this now chat GPT is telling this athlete how to think, how to feel about That's right. a subject that means a lot to her. And, and so much of sports is about trying to create an even playing field. I just came down from, had an awesome time in Cooperstown, New York, 12-year-old baseball tournament. My 12-year-old's still sleeping in the hotel right now. He and his friends, they had an amazing time. If somebody showed up with a 16-year-old to play in a 12-year-old baseball tournament, mm -hmm. every single parent would say, this is ridiculous. The 16-year-old doesn't belong. And if somebody, well, let's take it outside of a Little League Athletics. If a heavyweight boxer decided that he wanted to be a flyweight and go from fighting as a 240-pounder against a 120-pound person, everybody would say, no, this isn't right. We create all sorts of rules to create evenness in competition. The fact that feminists, think about this for a minute. The fact that feminists have allowed a world to be created where someone like Leah Thomas can be a woman for a year, a year and a half and become a women's sports champion and a woman of the year. This doesn't happen, by the way, in the other direction. There is no woman who identifies as a man and suddenly ends up becoming the man of the year. Women, I think, are being taken advantage of here, and there need to be more women speaking out in favor of women at women's athletics because it is truly a right-wrong issue, and many are on the wrong side right, here. Right, Clay. I like that shirt. Bomb pops. We're ready like for July 4th early, fourth, Ainsley. Exactly. Yes. All right, go spend the day with your son. Thank I can't wait. It's going to be fun. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.